Right, so we are at the Grove Farmer's Market. It's my first time actually in the Farmer's Market section. This was the produce vibes over here. It goes beyond that. And it's giving smorgasbord. So let's see what we find and eat. Sir, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Why are you gonna pull on me? Would you even yoke me up? <laughs> I just woke up, did the gym. I didn't journal yet, so I need to. Um, I ended up cleaning my house <laughs> at 7.30 a.m. Um, I had my shake. Um, I'm gonna prep like a late breakfast, but like after I have a shake, I don't know about y'all, but I don't really feel like um, eating immediately or I just feel like stuffed or whatever. So I prepped that and I'll make it probably with some eggs or with one of my like sausage patties that I have in the fridge. The plants are watered and it is time to clock in for work. If you don't know, I am a, a campaign manager and influencer marketing for this cool agency with a focus on gaming and tech. So it was definitely a little different than what um, I was used to. I've been with them for seven months and it's been pretty cool, honestly. Like, I have nothing negative to say about the company or the team, like, genuinely. And that's all you ask for, like, when you join the workforce is to be a part of a company that doesn't drain you. Um, it's great work-life balance. Like, my director, she always, you know, is making sure, like, oh, don't stay, you know, past six. And unless, you know, you really have to, to you know, meet a deadline. But, like, from the beginning, she was big on that. And she's remained um, consistent with that. So, yeah, it's definitely very refreshing. Uh, I'm just, you know, trying to do my best, learn as much as I can, and really make sure, you know, I'm bringing value to the company. And I think that's the, the main thing that you really got to understand and decipher when you join a company or you work period it's just like are you getting what you deserve and that's i think that's the exchange of money and the opportunity to learn and to grow within your role and beyond your role into new roles i think that's like the best exchange um that you can expect to receive from a company and then it's like okay great so i know i'm getting what i deserve am i giving what the company deserves am i giving you know what i need to give in this position and if that's equal and balanced, then yes, work that, work your job, you know? If it's not, you need to figure out what you need to change, so. So it's like a walnut bulgogi vibe with kale, ja uh, basmati rice, green beans, and some smash, five smash green bananas. Sometimes like I'm not doing any extra work during lunch and I'm just like taking a mental break away from this station since I'm like sitting here nine hours of the day. It's so hot right now. Um, but... I'm addicted to 
to these. This is like my fifth one since Sunday. No, yeah. It's only two today. It's called Who Love Bananas? Something, but it's vanilla dipped chocolate bar. Vanilla and non dairy vanilla ice cream and well, banana mixture. Look like dates, sweet it with dates to sweeten it. Dark chocolate, like coconut oil and stuff. So good. If they make some with almonds or walnuts, I'm sold for life. Maybe it's gonna be a fad because I like binge on something for a long time and then I'm over it. So hopefully because they're on sale right now and I just, I love it. Protect the lace at all costs. This needs to last me till Friday. I'm going to a party and I'm gonna do my hair really cute. It's like gonna be literally right after work on Friday. So I gotta make sure. Um, I am done on my task early. Oh my God, I have Friday off. <laughs> I forgot I got Friday off. Yes, wow, I definitely have 11-11. So my job does well in these days. Every month we have one day if we don't have a vacation schedule, we can take the day off. Wow, that's so perfect. I so forgot I chose 11-11. I'll make that a very special day. Um, but that's good because I have time to like curl my hair the way I want to before the party. I also already have a dress, so that's good. But I have my glossy mask on. It's my favorite. I've been using it since I lived in Atlanta. Um, I think I have another bottle under the um, counter, but it's just like a really good green mask. Oh, so I that I broke that I've broken out. Like I don't understand. The only change I had was using this Glossier clarifying cleanser and I wanted to give it like two weeks. I just started using it. I used it before I went on vacation. I started breaking it out a few days into my vacation. So I'm like, maybe that's what it is. I kept the bag and the receipt. Did I keep the receipt? Oh no, it's digital, I think. But I think I'm just gonna take it back and go back to the gel cleanser because this is just not okay. It's just not okay. And I have no, like I had cheesecake baby on vacation as dairy and like the pancakes, but I was freaking out before I even had the cheesecake. And I thought I was like period, but this is like too long. I'm just tired of this uphill battle with skin. Like, can she be great?
this computer. I got a little more of my protein shake left. It's a lot of protein in here, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get the rest of that. I'm actually gonna put it in the fridge. I want it to be a little colder. And I have some tea there, the uh, rosebud and elderberry tea that I'm gonna warm up later. The sun's coming out. It's a little overcast uh, yesterday, so that's good to see my plants are loving it. Look at my babies. Oh my God, look at it. I always find this so interesting. And they like the water comes, they like absorb the water and it comes out on their leaves. Like, look, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, I love my plants so much. Like, these are my OGs. They've been with me from New York, Atlanta to LA. Like, what? OG babies. And these are two new babies. I threw away, and then my snake. I threw away a plant um, on Sunday because it had bugs in it and I just didn't think I can really save it. Um, and just too much, but yeah, I'm about to get ready for work. Oh my God, I'm such a mess. You guys see that? It's terrible. Just terrible. interesting i'm not gonna so crazy because we're not condoning crazy but thank you but honey we done been in two cars girl, we been, been in three cars girl <laughs> i felt like three girl and we only been within a mile we've been um, in the this, car for the last hour <laughs> <laughs> the whole hour oh my god we started at seven <laughs> we're praying ziggy's not pissed at us because we oh haven't missed it's the pre-game it's literally been an hour Ooh, i blame like away <laughs> Oh, I definitely so play a part in it. I, I left did. my ID yeah, for now sure. You look like you went somewhere. You know, like the lady that shows up to the funeral but stays in a, a block away from everything. Yeah, not a block away. <laughs> With the big hat and then walks away. No, no. Yeah, Seriously. I definitely left my ID. So that was definitely a, um, a wrench in the schedule. Um, but we were early. <laughs> we were. I thought we were going to the pregame, but Ziggy is over us. And he's like, we're just going straight there. That's what you guys want, right? I mean, it did take us an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we were all downtown, just a few blocks away. Listen, my feathers were ruffled, like, on our phone, trying to figure out what. Bitch, your feathers were ruffled, bitch. Yes! Hi, Hello. Zig. We're sorry for the... Inconvenience. All that. <laughs>
Okay, so we're back home. I really feel like ordering some food because I don't have any food that I want to eat or I don't have any oil to cook um anything with. So I'm just like... But it's so funny how outside make you feel, start acting unusual, like trying to come home and order Uber Eats. Being completely sober, y'all. Like, I don't know. That's why, I mean, that's why I'm glad I don't drink anymore because honestly, I'm a chameleon. Like, I feel like I be coming home drunk. I be twist, tumbling over. Like, girl, what is wrong with you? <laughs> but we're tired. Um, so I'm going to wash my face, shower, and wind down so I can get to bed and get to the gym in the morning. Um... Yeah, today was it was tonight was okay. Uh, I, we thought it would be a little more than what it was. Uh, LA parties be never mind. I'm not gonna say that. We thought it would be a little more than what it was. There was no Rihanna appearance, but the show was definitely amazing. We have seen our friend Ricky in it, and it was just so cute. And the choreography was amazing, and the guest appearances were perfect. Like she killed it. Volume four is fire. Watched it from beginning to end. Eyes glued, great artists featured, and um, it was just so good. So that was my night. I'm ready to take it down, wash my face. Um, so I will see you later. describe this season it just is so random but i've been feeling emotional and it's not necessarily negative i've been feeling good emotions i've been feeling you know um emotions that are surrounding the craving of intimacy uh i'm very single right now extremely and i have been you know since honestly since January 2020, 2021, completely single. I have no time, any active intimate feelings for anybody. So I'm very single and I don't know, my body is just like, or my mind, my soul, my spirit is just feeling like, wow, this is where we are. Um, and it's just, be, I'm having these random spurts of like emotions and I'm like trying to process it and feel it allow myself to feel it and be within it uh, but this is just really an interesting phase and um i say i consider myself i've been alone for the last two years right um year and a half and 
I've been comfortable with that, especially in Atlanta. Like, I was fine, you know. I'm a woman, so I do crave intimacy, but I needed that year to be by myself. When I wanted to be by myself, I kept traveling, you know, between New York and LA, but I needed that year to just really be by myself and just do that. It was a year of leisure to an extent, honestly, um, and I needed it. And then reality hit at the time of this year, and you know, I had to do the shift, and um, now I'm in LA, and it's even different than you know, Atlanta, and even New York. Everything is different than New York. Um, New York has my heart, so we don't have to keep saying that. But uh, yeah, in the dating area, I haven't really dated. Like, I have not gone on a date here. Um, I have so many suitors, so many suitors online, you know, like from a distance, just timing just doesn't allow us, like, enough. You know, but um, I don't really care, you know, about that because, like, if we're not doing something now or if, if it's not real, if we're not growing towards something, then, like, I can't make myself feel for any of you or have a focus on either of you, you know, until, like, you're here in my vicinity or you're actively trying to build something with me even at a distance, you know. So I have no one <laughs> on my table right now. And my body just does feel that I've just been working through my emotions and I just I just learned like it is okay to have these gaps of like not dating or being active with someone. Um, though I've I've been open to dating and you know, just meeting people. It's just hard. It's, it really is hard, um, at this phase of my life. I think everyone is experiencing these strange dating experiences, you know. Um, but in the process I continue to work with myself to work just to find out how I can better utilize my time and just be better version of myself uh, so that when God aligns me with that person he wants me to unite with that, that I'm ready and I've been telling you I'm ready <laughs> I've said my prayer a year ago I wrote my letter honestly before I went to Atlanta I wrote this letter to like my part my my future partner um that I still and I hope to give it to my partner whenever we unite and I feel like yeah you the one in the next moment, you know? I've also learned that every experience that we've had is nothing to regret. Like, I should never did that with him, or you know, it's, it's an experience that you had, and it made you better. Um, and Or, you know, it made you terrible, and then you became better, or you know, it drained you, and you're still in that drained situation for you to be able to look in the mirror and see that you need to get out of that situation. So I have no regrets on any situation that I've been in with any man um my boss just read like uh any man at all i love all the men appreciate all the men and honestly they all spin the block <laughs> if i'm being honest i ain't gonna lie like 80 percent you know or the ones that actually matter have you know and they express their love and you know to me it's just like a timing thing or just like a seasonal thing you know and i say i have respect for them i will chill with them I cross no lines with them you know because it's like once we step out of that we step out of being intimate and pursuing like a long-term relationship or a union we step out of that i know how to be in be friends with someone that i've been intimate they don't always know how, you know, so that's why, you know, distance is good because, you know, it helps me manage my emotions or help them know, like, nah, you can't reach that. Um, but I genuinely do know how to separate um, pleasure and friendship, you know, with the opposite sex. I do. Uh, but, yeah, that's my little rant of my emotions. It just came out of nowhere. I've just been feeling it. I'm allowing myself to feel it. I know there are other people out there that are feeling you know these feelings are going through the same phase in life where you're just completely single and you're working on yourself while praying that um praying that god unites you with your partner but i just got a, a really nice message from my boss that you know i do in this in this job it is a little bit challenging to an extent um, I know I know how to do a lot of these things, but I've done it differently in, in the freelance positions that I've been in. And so being at this company, there's a certain process that my director, my leadership uh, has already set in place. And so there's, I feel like, I felt grew to feel like there's a way she likes things to be done, though she's open, but that she can alleviate herself from 
have any certain things she still has a way she wants things to be done and I'm, you know and I try to grasp that also like just apply like my different perspective that's why I was hired you know and so sometimes I felt like I was being over she was a little overbearing or just jumps in and like does things or shifts the way I do certain things and she kind of just randomly acknowledged that and I respect her so much for that uh, yeah <laughs> Two hour lunches in my food. Planning my food. from the gym we got clean home shiny floors <laughs> Black Panther Wakanda forever and it was so good like I cried so many times like my face is dry right now like I didn't expect it to be what it was at all uh, so fire go see it if you have not seen it yet mm. uh, and then I got hungry um, this wild vegan restaurant called Wild Living's food and uh, it's one of my favorites I haven't had it in like a couple months because I had to tell myself no I was spending too much money there. But here's a little clip 
of it delicious royale with cheese it's like um they're vegan like patties raw raw foods like nuts um and such and grains i believe brazil nut cheese and uh flax like buns which is like a flax cracker and some kale chips on the side so good but this is the end of this vlog i just want to thank y'all for watching i hope i see you in my views on the next vlog or video whatever is first thank you